Hello and welcome to my video. Mr.net is here. This is video number 9 of our Sudoku tutorial. In the previous videos we create a Sudoku field and we generate numbers for three different groups of the Sudoku field. We can insert numbers, we can remember some numbers and in this video we want to implement some rules for the Sudoku game so that we cannot insert any numbers where we want so that we can only insert numbers when the rules allows that. To implement this function we open our script and we open the English Sudoku object. We have here our values and the get group index method. And now we implement some other methods private bool, and I call this method is possible number in row. And as an argument, I get the number which I want to insert and the current row. So then I use a for loop. It starts from zero, smaller than nine. And this two dimensional array contains our values. So I can use this property values. The first dimension is our row. And the second dimension is our column. So if the value in the row column i is the same value like our number, then this row contains this number. So I cannot insert the same number in the same row. So I return false. And if I ask a number which isn't in the row, this loops finish and I return true. Now I copy this and create a second method is possible number in column. I rename my argument. And I also have to replace these two values. The first is the row and the second is the column. So if the number in the column exists, I cannot insert this number. Okay, this our two methods here is possible in row, is possible in column. Then I need a method private bool is possible number in group the argument is also the number and the second argument is the group number from 1 to 9 so firstly I need my indexes for the group so I use get group index my method here the first argument is the group and then I get to out parameters, start row and uh, start column. Oh, that's wrong. Sorry. Now I have my start row and my start column. And I need two for loops. So the first loop is the row. And this loop starts with the start row and ends start row plus 3. And inside this loop I have the other loop for the column. And the column starts from the start column and ends after 3 times. 
so and inside this loop now I can compare values row column is number that's in a if statement so if this number in the group exists I return false and this, if the number isn't found in that group then I return true okay I save this method and then I implement a public method public boolean is possible number in position and the argument is the number then the row and the column then I use if is possible number in row the number and the row as the argument and is possible number in column number and column as an argument so if I can insert it into the row and into the column I have to ask if is possible number in group and now I need the index of the group from uh, from 1 to 9 so I have to implement a private method which returns me an integer type the number of the group I call this method get group and as an argument I need the row and the column and if the row is smaller than 3 so the row is 0 1 or 2 I use this if body if the row is smaller than 6 I use this if body otherwise we have to use this and inside this body we have if the column is smaller than 3 then we are in the first group so return 1 if the column um, I copy this if the column is smaller than 6 and greater than 2 we are in group 2 and else we are in group 3 so now I have to copy this I paste it here into my bodies I only have to change these numbers here behind so this is group 4 this is group 5 and this is group 6 this is group 7 group 8 and group 9 well that's my method and I use this method here get group and as an argument the row and the column so now if I can insert this number into the group I return true otherwise I return false after we implement this method we can test it for that I go into my English game script and inside this method uh, inside this script we have the click on control prefab method and in this method we decide if we insert a small number or if we insert a big number and before we insert a big number we have to ask if it is possible to insert a number 
So for that I need uh, access to my Sudoku object. We have here the met method create Sudoku object. And we have here an instance of our Sudoku object. So I create here a private English Sudoku object property and I call it the current Sudoku object. And I say that this object will be instantiated in this method. I have also to use it here in this line. And now I can access at runtime from other methods this object here. So now I can go into my public uh, click on control prefab method and I ask if current Sudoku object dot is possible number in position then we need which number the row and the column so the number is the number what we get from this argument here so int current number is this one then we need the row and we know that we have a current hovered field prefab and this current hovered field prefab has information about the row then I copy this line here and create a value for the column and that's also our column property. Now I can use these arguments for my method is possible number in position for current number for the row and for the column and if this is true I can set the number. So I save this script. I go back to Unity and I start the game. So we see I have here the number 8 and I cannot insert the number 8. I cannot insert the number 9 and I cannot insert the number 3. I can also not insert the number 7 and the number 6, yes, but I can insert the number 1, I can insert the number 2, I can insert the number 4, number 5, and the rest is not allowed. Well, the small numbers works hopefully also, yes, that looks good to me. Well, okay, now we have implemented our rules and in the next video we can continue to generate our Sudoku game. So if you like this video, please give me a comment, subscribe my channel to support me and hopefully I see you in the next video. Bye!